What's up Blasters? We're here in Spa, Belgium and today I'm going to have my first experience jumping from a plane and skydiving all the way down. Let's check out how it goes. I'd been looking forward to this experience for quite some time and today was the perfect day for it. Just look at my pre-flight happy face. We all got into a tiny little plane which would take us up to 13,000 feet or about 4 kilometers above the ground. As you can see from their pre-rendered video footage, the surroundings around Spa are simply gorgeous. Stunning sights all the way down. Just before we jumped, the instructor repeated some of the safety instructions and guidelines that he did on the ground as well, just to be sure that on the way down, nothing unexpected happens and that I know what I can do and when. On the way down, you're of course reminded that you can see the world famous Spa Francorchamps racing circuit, which I admittedly spent a good two seconds looking at before I started looking frantically around again, taking everything in. I like skiing, I like roller coasters, I pretty much like most thrills. Yet still, I was quite nervous about my first ever skydiving experience as you can see from my face right here. But then you jump out of a freaking plane and you're just free falling. The experience of tumbling down the sky with absolutely nothing holding you back except a very strong man strapped to your back is simply amazing. And after arriving safely on the ground, it hit me. This rocks. Super. Oh, so cool. yeah. oh. Wow. <laughs> so amazing. Prices at the Spa Skydiving Center aren't cheap. For a duo jump on a weekend day, you'll have to cough up 240 euros. If you'd like a video taken from your duo partner's wrist-mounted GoPro, that'll set you back another 50 euros, but if you want the premium video package, that'll be 120 more euros. Since I really wanted the full Monty, this very brief but exciting experience set me back a total of 360 euros. That said, I would probably recommend getting the 50 euro video package, because that guy actually keeps on filming when the parachute is open. All in all, this experience was brilliant and I would do it again in a heartbeat. 